Python has a great selection of third-party packages that can enhance the functionality of your scripts and add-ons. These third-party packages could extend Python the same way as add-ons can extend Blender. You just install them and you're good to go. In this video, I'll show you one of the ways you can install these third-party packages. If you're new here, I'm Victor Stepanoff and I love helping artists learn the Python programming language. Recently, I saw a default queue video explaining how you can solve the no module error that you can get when using other modules and packages. With this video, I'll be piggybacking on that and adding another way you can install Python packages. By the way, I highly recommend checking out that video to see other ways how you can install packages and I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. To install a third-party package we usually use a program called pip which installs packages from the Python package index. Pip usually installs the Python packages right into the folder where a Python interpreter is located and, and in the case of the interpreter that is shipped with Blender that's going to be inside of the Blender install folder. The problem with this is that not always you can modify and write into that folder, especially if you're on Windows and you've used the official installer. To work around this issue, you can use a special command line argument passed into pip and tell where pip should install this Python package you're trying to install. Now, I'll be showing you how to do this on Windows, but the same thing you could do on Mac or Linux. The command line argument I'm talking about is minus minus target and then you pass in the path where you want pip to install the package. You can specify any path you want, but we won't be doing that. We'll be using a special path that the Python interpreter in Blender actually knows about. We can get the path to this folder by going into Blender and then going into the scripting workspace and going into the interactive Python console down here and then typing in the following command. So it's bpyutils.userresources and then scripts all in capital letters. This is very important for them to be capital. Then path equals modules. So you go ahead and type that in, hit enter, and then you'll get a path. This will be unique to your computer, so you can't just copy what you see on screen. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy this path right here and then go into my uh, command line and then type in pip install the name of the package and then minus minus target and then the path that I just uh, copied from Blender. Now I want to install the Python image library also known as pillow. For example, I want to be able to import this image class. I'm just going to copy this uh, import statement go back into Blender, and you can see that I'm not able to import uh, this Python image library. Now, let's go ahead and fix that by using pip to install this Python image package into a place where the Python that's shipped with Blender can see it. So now I'm in my terminal and I've written pip install pillow, that is the name of the package, and then uh, minus minus target equals, and then the path that I just got from running that command just a minute before. Now, I can actually open this path right here and see that there's nothing there. You can see that this folder is empty, there's nothing here. Let's go ahead and run this command and it finishes successfully. Now, let's go back into that folder and we have this Python image library installed right here. Now, let's go back and see if we can import this again. And now, after we've installed it, we can see that the Python in Blender can see this Python image library. And you don't need to write any extra code. Okay, if you learned something new, make sure to hit the like button on this video. I'll really appreciate it. And now that you know how to install third-party Python packages, how do you ship them with your Blender add-on? And in this video right here, I'll show you exactly how you can do that.